Hey crafty peeps, I'm Lisa, your dollar mom, and I've got some more fall DIYs for you. Um, I'm just oh, I'm so into them. There's so much good stuff. I have a notebook filled with DIYs and I'm so excited to show them, share them, show them to you. And um, just hit that subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos because I have been a busy bee and I've been making lots and lots of DIYs. So let's just get right into them. So for this first project, I grabbed some of these wood boards from my scrap pile. I buy my scrap wood on Facebook Marketplace because a lot of carpenters and whatnot, and they sell what they have left over. And I just buy like a crate for a certain amount. So it works out great. So I went ahead and I painted them all white with my Rust-Oleum Linen White paint. And I'm going to take the three different sizes here, and those are going to be my pumpkins. And then I went into my um, Cricut Design Space, and I decided how big I wanted the letters. And then I went ahead and I cut out vinyl. I used the font Aphasia BT, and I did three and a half inches tall by three inches wide. And I will link that down below. So you will have the spelling and everything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put my vinyl down and peel it up. And that will put the letters down on my pumpkins. I thought this looked so high end. However, if you don't have a Cricut machine, you can use stickers, you can paint the letters yourself. Um, <clears throat> but either way, loved how it looked. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some of the Dollar Store has these wood um, pieces. I found one bag one time and what I wouldn't give to find a whole bunch of them. So I really hope you guys can find them because these make the best uh, pumpkin tops. However, don't despair because I think a lot of us have sticks in our yards that could easily work. So anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some E6000 on there and hot glue. And I do that because the hot glue kind of gives it an instant adhering and the E6000 gives it a more permanent adhesive. So go ahead and I will put those on the tops of my three pumpkins. I'm using the Wired Jute from Dollar Tree, and I realized I said Dollar Store in the last one, but I meant Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree all around. I don't have a Dollar Store. Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking the Wired Jute, and I'm just going to wrap it around um, a pen, anything you have, and I'm just going to make the little curly cues uh, that will come out of the pumpkin stems, and I'll make three of those. As you can see, I just add a little hot glue to the tips so that my jute does not fray. I grab these leaf uh, ornaments from Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab three of those and I'm going to give them a wood stain look with the Waverly Antique Wax and I just I love this product because it gives it that that like I said, stain look. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this wood filler and I'm gonna fill in um, the holes here to my ornaments since they're not going to be ornaments. Um, and so this will just 
um, fill those holes. After it dries, I just give it a light sanding um, to get it smooth, and then I will paint them. Now it's time to start attaching things. So I take my little curly cues and I just lightly wrap them uh, around the stem. I don't want to cause too much weight on that stem. So I just lightly put it on there and then I'll dab a little glue on it. And then I'll go ahead and obviously I'm going to put a little hot glue on my leaf and I will put that down. And then I'm just going to take some of these ribbons that I've picked up. Some are from Dollar Tree. Actually, I think all of these ones are from Dollar Tree. And I'll just make some bows and I will just spruce this up. As you see the lighting changes in the video right there, that means that one of my kids has walked into my studio and opened the door wide. And it's beautiful light, but it's way, 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 way too hot to have that door open. Uh, where I live, it's about 105 degrees, so really trying to get those fall vibes uh, coming because I am tired of this hot weather. Again, I'm also just going to add a little bit of raffia with my bows just to give it a little bit more of that rusticness. And once all of these are decorated to my liking, I will go ahead and I will put my pumpkins on the last board, the fourth board, um, to make it a stand.
I loved this project so much that I wanted to make sure you could make it too in case you didn't have the scrap wood. So I grabbed three of these out of the pack of a Dollar Tree. It's like a, a little wood planks, I think they call them. And I'm just going to cut two of them down so that I have a shorter one and a medium sized one. And I did the same thing again with my uh, fall Cricut vinyl. I just used the exact same font and I just sized it down to what I chose for this. Again, just kind of measure the area, decide you know what you have. So if you have a, a two by four inch area you're wanting to cover on your screen, just size it to that. And again, I'm going to do a very similar, this project is very similar, but it's just a miniature version. So I go ahead and after I get everything cut down, I will paint it again in the Rust-Oleum linen chalk paint and I'll put my vinyl on. I will dazzle it up with some stems and ribbon and whatnot. And then I'm going to add it to this really cute frame that I found. It just, it was the exact color blues I use in my fall decor. And I was like, this is all working out perfectly. For the stem, I'm just going to use some of the leftover wood plank. I'll go ahead and glue some of the jute twine and just wind it all the way around.
For this project, you'll need this thankful and blessed uh, sign from Dollar Tree, and then this wood-looking um, sticker, I guess you would call it, also from Dollar Tree. Um, I guess it can be used on like your wall as like a backsplash, um, but I'm going to use it on this pumpkin. And I love mixing textures. That is one of my favorites. I like 
metals and woods and, and uh, natural things. So I thought this is going to be a really cool pumpkin. So I go ahead and I just flip my pumpkin over. And this, like I said, it is adhesive and it is very sticky. So I'm going to go ahead and it's just like the perfect size. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick it down on top of my pumpkin. And then I will cut around it. And you'll see me fiddle a little bit with cutting because it is so sticky. As you can see, it kind of lifted from the backing sheet. Easy fix. I just took a little bit of hot glue and went around the pumpkin and that adhered it great. I'm going to use some of this new, uh, I guess you would say wide or cream nautical rope that the Dollar Tree is carrying. Uh, one pack will be enough. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put it around my pumpkin, as you can see, just hot glue, and just kind of give it that 3D look. And like I did in the last project, I'm going to glue this twine to the back of my stem and just wrap it around to make that jute twine stem. And now it's time to embellish with a ribbon. I do believe I got this ribbon either from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I'm going to make a jute bow. So the way I do that is I just cut off a little strip. That'll be how I tie it off. 
And then I go ahead and I just wrap this a few times around my fingers. It just depends how full you want it. Once I get that, I go ahead and take that first piece that I cut off and I put it around the middle of where my fingers were and I'll tie it in a knot and that will make a jute bow. I'll reattach this metal, re uh, metal leaf that was on the pumpkin originally and add my jute bow and this very neutral um, mixed textured pumpkin will be complete. For this last project, I took one of the orange styrofoam pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I just lightly painted, spray painted it white just so that the orange wouldn't show through. And then I grabbed this piece of burlap from the 99 cent store. Um, you can get burlap like this from any of the craft stores. And this is what I'm going to cover this pumpkin in. I go ahead and I cut out a circle from the top. This will be how I hold the fabric into place. I will um, go ahead and just cut off any excess fabric because I won't need the whole piece. And then I'm just going to start pushing it into the hole, folding it, pushing it into the hole, and doing this all the way around. I'm going to use the same nautical rope from the last project and it's two pieces intertwined so I'm going to undo those so that it's just a thinner piece and I go ahead and I just wrap it all the way around and feed it right back into that same hole that I was putting the burlap fabric in. I'll take another one of these stems and I'll just push it right into the pumpkin. As you can see, I didn't even really have to use adhesive here because everything just kind of stayed in place into that hole. Um, I grabbed one of these wire, oh, excuse me, metal leaves off another one of those signs that I had from the last sign. Um, I bought several of them and I just love the metal leaves that come on them. I'm just going to spruce this up with some twine and this project will be complete.
I hope you enjoyed these fall projects. I have more to come, so hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when my new videos upload. Alright, see you next time.